It is 10 o'clock. Good evening. I'm Jeff Gianola. 15 days to go before the election and one candidate in Southwest Washington's third congressional race getting help from a former presidential candidate. Tonight, former U.S. Representative Tulsi Gabbard was stumping for Republican Joe Kent in Vancouver. Our Jamie Seymour caught up with both candidates and joins us live. Jamie? Jeff, tonight's town hall with Joe Kent and Tulsi Gabbard covered everything from the fentanyl drug crisis to border security issues. Kent's opponent, Marie Glusenkamp Perez, also spoke to with a different perspective. All right. With 15 days to go, one candidate in Washington's third is getting help from a former presidential candidate, Tulsi Gabbard, former congresswoman from Hawaii, who recently left the Democratic Party, now unaffiliated. You want change? Go vote. You want change? Support Joe Kent. During the town hall, Republican and former Green Beret Joe Kent answered questions from supporters, including how he would respond to border security as an elected official. Biden's getting impeached for opening up our border for an invasion. So is Mayorkas, DHS. And then we are going to go through DHS's budget and we are going to say, hey, you guys will go down there. You will enforce our border. His opponent, Democrat and local business owner Marie Glusenkamp Perez, says while she believes citizens have a right to know who and what is coming in through the border, an immigration or funding freeze could also have an impact on the local agriculture industry. They all rely on a prior existing ability to bring in labor when they need to. Another big topic at the town hall, the fentanyl crisis. Kent touching on its impact in southwest Washington and being along a major interstate running between large cities like Portland and Seattle. The number one killer, it's fentanyl getting pumped across our, our southern border into our district. Losing Camp Perez says it's an issue she would also address if elected. He's repeatedly called for the defunding of the federal police, of the FBI. I don't think that's something that's going to help us address our drug crisis, our crime crisis. Both candidates also addressed early voting ahead of the election in two weeks, with Blues and Camp Perez urging to fill out ballots soon, while Kent encouraged attendees to join him with turning his ballot in on Election Day. We did request one on one time with Joe Kent either before or after the town hall. And while the opportunity was potentially there, we did opt to not stay until after the photo opportunities with town hall attendees wrapped up in an effort to also get his opponent's perspective. We are going to continue to follow this race closely over those next two weeks leading up to and on election night. Reporting live in downtown Portland, Jamie Seymour, Coin 6 News. Yep.